Our next story is from the Lone Star State. Trooper Hobie Smith's confrontation with armed carjackers on a remote Texas highway. Trooper Smith portrays himself in our reenactment. George Wooster, in prison on robbery charges, plans to escape, but he doesn't want to do it alone. Let's make a break for it, man. No way, man. I'll have a year to go. You chicken or something? Make up your mind now. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Come on, man. Let's go. No way, man. I ain't going. Too late. If I'm busted, you're busted. Let's go. go. The fugitives steal a trunk, guns, food, and clothing from a house in Louisiana and drive to Texas. Now the truck is acting up, and they're looking to steal another. I'll get us some beer. You get us another car. Twenty-one-year-old Kim Soon Lee is an exchange student at a nearby college. Move over right now. Nobody gets hurt. Just stay quiet. No one get hurt. Texas Highway Patrol Trooper Hobie Smith is on his way back to his office in Hearst, Texas to finish paperwork after patrolling the interstate all day. Not far down the road, a faulty transmission causes the woman's car to give the convicts trouble. What's wrong with this damn car? Well, sometimes no good. Uh, I can drive better. Pull over, let her drive. Because it's her car, the kidnappers think it'll be easier for her to drive. Get in, get in. Easy. Go, go. When Trooper Smith spots the car going unusually slow, he runs a routine license check before pulling it over to see if there's a problem. Is any trouble? Blow him away. The rest of our true story when we come back. On, Two prison go. escapees kidnap an exchange student and hijack her car. Thinking they're having car trouble, Texas Highway Patrol Trooper Hobie Smith stops to help. How are you doing today? Trouble with car. Okay. If you just stay seated here, I'll be back in just a second. The woman seems very frightened, and the men seem nervous. Tell us how's it going. Why don't you tell us going to step out for me? Just want to pat you down right quick. Do you have any weapons or knives or anything like that on you tonight? Okay. When Smith finds bullets on one of the fugitives, he calls for backup and tells the other fugitive to wait in the car. 11.54 now. Minutes later, Trooper John Busing and Trooper Pete Ubarra arrive to back up Smith. Gun! got the guys now. You, Once you the kidnappers are arrested, the exchange student tells Trooper Smith the whole story. She kept quiet, believing the kidnappers would let her go if she cooperated. Please, Both convicts pled guilty to aggravated kidnapping and received an additional 25 years in prison. Trooper Smith is now a sergeant working in the Lubbock area. He received a director's citation for valor.